Our story begins on an island in the middle of nowhere, gathering resources so we can conquer the Fort of Fortune and rob its undead inhabitants of their booty. The fort's riches would set us up for at least two hours. As we were approaching the fort, we noticed that there was a galleon fighting off the locals. So we decided to use two explosive barrels to sink the ship. And that went as well as you would expect. I'm ready, I'm ready. No, you ain't. After coming back from Davy Jones's locker, my two brain cells kicked into gear. I was shown a prophecy where I would be able to absolutely dumpster on this galleon, allowing the others enough time to turn the boat around and finish them off. And with that vision in mind, I went to the fort and started to demolish the enemy. I took down their masts more than three times, filled them with holes, and made them eat my balls. Once I was out of ammo, I launched the boarding party. This would be a decisive blow in this battle for the fortress. I climbed the ladder and managed to completely wipe the remainder of the crew. God damn. They were almost already half full. And with Rosie joining me on the ship, we prevented repairs and managed to ensure this galleon's journey to a watery grave. We plundered their booty and proceeded to make our way onto land. The fort was still active, meaning that we needed to fight even more skeletons. But as we scoured the fort, we noticed there weren't any skeletons to be found. This is when we found out the remaining skeletons were somehow stuck under the floorboards. So we faced our first choice. Would we expend our resources in the possibility of killing these skeletons and progressing to the next wave? Or would we abandon the fort, leaving its riches to fade from existence? We chose to use our remaining explosives to kill the skeletons. It paid off. We managed to progress to the next wave and continue the fight for the fortress's treasury. We beat the two skeleton lords, sent out as the fortress's final line of defense. But there was still one more enemy, Warden Chi. This was no ordinary skeleton lord as the mighty warden controlled fire and brimstone and was set on destroying us. So we opted to cheese the entire fight by luring the warden out to our ship's broadside and making it eat as many balls as possible. Oh, pause. <laughs> yeah, boy. And with the skeleton lords finally vanquished, we opened the vault door. Treasures beyond our wildest dreams just laying there, waiting to be plundered. After getting rid of any dangerous explosives, we started loading our newfound wealth onto our rowboat and set sail for Reaper's hideout. On our way to the hideout, we were attacked by what I can only assume was the galleon we had previously sunk, now all cursed and undead, seeking revenge. We sunk them again, right as we pulled up to the hideout, and we began offloading all of our riches to sell to the notorious Servant of the Flame. After selling, I reviewed our map, looking for any possible targets. But there was no faction representatives, so we decided to go forth into the sea and let the wind guide our sails. Which was unfortunate for the first ship we saw, a new player who we chased, told him we wanted to give him loot, and sunk him the moment we pulled up next to him. In retrospect, it wasn't exactly the most wholesome moment, but he had her treasure chest, so there was a reason for it. And so we continued looking for more ships to plunder. We spotted the same brig as in the beginning of our journey, and we wanted to offer our help should they need it. They, however, preferred to attack us, and of course, our response to this was to chase them to the ends of the earth and sink them. But as we chased for what seemed an eternity, we could feel a presence slowly creeping up behind us. Unaware of this, we managed to immobilize the ship, and as we were boarding, everything went horribly wrong. As if out of thin air, a, Hello there. a sloop suddenly appeared in front of us. 
taking down our masts and shooting their cannons with deadly precision. There was no time to think. We had to use all of our knowledge and years of ocean warfare in this very moment. We prioritized repairs, but the boat was already on course to ram the sloop. And to further add to the desperation, I finally realized Rosie had died earlier when we boarded the enemy brig, leaving Tom and I against these insurmountable odds. But I am no ordinary pirate. So I bombarded their ship with flames and start to throw water from inside the boat to the outside. Until Tom could provide support to allow us to repair the ship. And as Rosie respawned to help Tom repair the ship, I made my next big decision. With one of the scallywags dead after already attempting to board our ship, I knew there was only one of them left on their vessel. So I jumped on board the sloop and killed Philip. This allowed the others to repair our ship while I ensured that repairs would not be done on the sloop. And I hopped back to aid them in repairing our brig. And after what felt like an eternity, they finally sank to the bottom of the sea. As we finished collecting ourselves from what can only be considered our greatest victory, we focused on hunting down the ship that had escaped our grasp, only to notice that the mother of all beasts, no, I'm not talking about your mom, the Kraken, had found its prey in that brig. So in typical pirate fashion, we decided it would be a good idea to kick them while they were down. But fate had a different idea. As we were about to gain the upper hand, Tom had to go get pizza. Therefore, there was nobody manning the cannons when their ship waltzed right onto our broadside. And as a consequence of this chain of unfortunate events, they escaped. We gave chase, of course, but we got bored and decided to attack a sloop anchored near a sea fort. It was the same sloop we had sunk earlier. I attempted to give them the chest we had stolen earlier, but they tried to kill me. And as I surfaced from the fort stark interior, I saw it. Our doom. All right. The sloop that had attacked us before, once again as if by an act of God himself, sprung forth from behind a rock and sank our magnificent brig. And that is the end of our adventure. Full of trials, tribulations, lies, backstabbing, failed diplomacy, and a whole load of wetness. We were beaten by those we had previously defeated. And so the cycle of sinking continues. Hello there, it is AV. You know, the guy that died, sunk that galleon almost single-handedly, wink wink. Uh, I just want to let you guys know, I appreciate you getting to the end of the video. You should probably subscribe and like the video, that is if you feel I've earned your support. And let me know what else you'd like me to do or play. Yeah, you have a good day. Thank you.